Welcome back, everybody, to Lee's Stuff, uh, where I describe some of the issues that I'm running into, clients have asked me about, visitors are asking me about, uh, and I try to help you solve issues. Today, we're going to talk about backups, and specifically in Windows 7, and uh, some of the, the fantastic tools that you have built in to uh, create backups and uh, really do a good job of making sure that you're protected. But one of the things that we're going to talk about here uh, is really doing a system image. And I'm going to open this up for us right now. I'm going to go to the control panel and I'm going to go up to backup and restore. And in the backup and restore section uh, we have a couple of different options and first, th the very first option obviously is to do a standard backup. Now you'll see in this particular uh, screen, I have a uh, one terabyte drive that's that's uh, connected to my computer. Let me move this more into the center here. Uh, this one terabyte drive that uh, I have already has uh, almost uh, 600 gigs on it. But uh, I use it for storage, but I also use it for backups, and I use it for system images. And you'll see over here, you've got the ability to create a system image and create a system repair disk. Uh, these are really cool tools and people really don't use them enough. Backup is wonderful and it's important and, and it's incredibly uh, powerful especially if you want to be able to go into the backup and retrieve specific files without having to restore the entire backup onto your machine. But if you really have a failure, I mean a total failure of your system to the point where your hard drive has just completely decided to crash uh, and uh, you've you've had to either replace the hard drive or format it and start over again, or you need to format it and start over again. These are cool tools. I, I can tell you they have saved my butt and I've used them myself. So I'm going to show you how to use those. Uh, the backup is pretty s simple to understand. You simply point it at a specific drive or a location and you tell it just back up and it does. And uh, that's wonderful. And then if you need to restore files, you come down here and you click on restore my files and you select whatever it is uh, that you want to to uh, restore but if you really have a catastrophic failure how do you get back up and running quickly and uh, effectively without having to uh, create a whole bunch of mess well first thing you want to do is uh, assuming that you have a CD-ROM or DVD drive and I'm gonna go ahead and open my computer panel here let me bring it down uh, to show you uh, if you've got a CD-ROM or a DVD drive, and I've got a couple of them built into my machine here, uh, these two drives are what you would use to create your system repair disk, or one of these two will be used to do that. So what you need is a standard either DVD or CD, and you're going to need to be able to boot from these, uh, and you can do that in your BIOS, which is something I can't show you here, but uh, if you have questions about that, certainly ask, and I'll try to help you out. But the first thing you want to do is go to create a system repair disk and it'll say, okay, which drive do you want to use? And you just pick one of the drives that you have. Now, this particular drive I have established specifically as my default drive. Uh, this other CD drive is only online when I turn it on. So that's why you're seeing only one here and two over here. But uh, if you select that and you say create disk, you just simply insert a blank disk like it says you create the disk, it will create a bootable CD-ROM disk that has a bunch of tools on it including the ability for you to go uh, run your system image and replay it back onto your drive and I'll get into that in detail in a moment. But uh, first of all you create this and once you're you're done creating this it'll tell you basically to take it out and store it and uh, it just gives you a, a CD and you store that off to the side make sure you keep it safe so that you can reboot your machine. Now, when you do reboot your machine, you're going to have to reboot uh, and you're going to have to go into BIOS to make sure that you're booting from the CD-ROM drive that, that contains this disk that you've created. So once you've created it, uh, I highly recommend that you, before you have a catastrophic failure, run a test. Just simply reboot your machine, get into your BIOS, make sure that you're, you've got the CD-ROM drive that the disk is in selected as the boot drive and then boot from it and just look at uh, the options that are there. You don't have to run any of them necessarily, but just look at them and make sure you understand it. Now, once you've created that, what do you do next? Well, the first thing you want to do is come in here and say create a system image. Now, the system image uh, software basically creates an entire image of your drive 
essentially verbatim. It takes the entire drive, copies it verbatim to wherever you tell it to put it. Now you can put it on one or more DVDs, but if you've got a huge drive uh, like I do, and uh, my drive is, is typically got a lot of stuff on it, that's going to end up with a lot of DVDs. So you're probably not going to want to run that route. You're probably going to want to run from a, an external drive. And I can tell you that the external drive is the best way to go, especially if you get something like a FireWire drive or an eSATA uh, or a, a high-speed USB. Uh, that's the way you're going to want to go so that you can create the entire system image. So once you've selected that, you simply say Next, and it'll say OK. Uh, you're probably going to be replacing some of the... Uh, stuff that uh, may already be on the drive as far as other system information or excuse me system images that's okay uh, unless you want to save them you can save them off and, and make them separate if you want but in reality uh, you really only need one system image and that's the latest system image so once you do that you just uh, click on the start backup here and I'm gonna go ahead and do it because there's kinda no reason why I shouldn't uh, but the uh, the backup is going to take a while and it's going to create an entire image, system image of your drive. Now, what does that do for you? Well, when you have a catastrophic failure, what you can do is you can literally uh, replace the drive, for example, if your drive dies, if the hard drive dies completely, you know, mechanically it's dead, you can replace that drive and then run your uh, system repair disk that you created here and it will say okay where's the system image that you want and you go look for the system image on your external drive and boom there you go uh... the nice thing about that system repair disk is that it actually does load drivers that will allow you to hook up external drives such as usb drives or eSATA drives and that way you can actually make sure that you've got uh... the, the uh, drive available for the system uh... image to be replayed once you set that up to happen it will replay this image the image of the drive back onto your drive you then reboot in normal mode and boom you are right back to where you were verbatim even even everything in your recycled bin is there unless they make changes to that uh, currently at the time that I'm doing this it does actually back up everything in your recycled bin as well so basically it takes an exact duplicate of your drive puts it into an image file stores it off-site or off off the computer and that way if you have a cat catastrophic failure this is the, the, the easiest, quickest, down and dirty way to be able to come right back. I use this actually for my regular backups. I do a regular system image and I do a regular backup. So that way I know I've got not only the data at my disposal if I want to go get it from the backup itself or if I have a catastrophic failure, all I got to do is run that, that uh, system repair disk and bring myself right back to where I was before that happened. So, that being said, uh, I'm going to let this uh, system image continue. In the meantime, we can go into the backup information here. And one of the things that you can do is actually go into uh, the various files that are actually here on your machine. If you click on Restore My Files, it'll actually go and look for or search for uh, files that, that actually exist within the backups. And this is something that uh, I, I haven't actually created much of anything in this particular backup because I did some made some changes but uh, the wonderful part is you can literally go in and find uh, the files that are in the backup itself and restore them individually either to the original directory or to another directory so it's really fantastic how that works so that's it in a nutshell how do you get how do you do uh, a, a down and dirty uh, backup and safe backup of your drive and then get yourself back up and running the most effect effective and, and, and the quickest way possible in the case of a catastrophic failure. This is the way to go. You don't have to buy any software. You don't have to do anything. It's all built into the system. Uh, I will run down the quick checklist of what you need. You're going to need a CD-ROM drive. You're going to need obviously at least one blank CD and then you're also going to need a uh, external drive or I recommend an external drive that's large enough to hold the system image, meaning that whatever the size of your drive is in your computer, you're going to need an external drive that's at least that big, if not bigger, and I recommend uh, two to three times the size of your, of your internal disk uh, just to make sure that you've got enough room to store your system image. Do your backups regularly. Don't think that you're safe just because you did one last week. Think of all of the things that you did on your computer between last week and today 
just remember all of those things will be gone if your computer suddenly crashes or completely destroys itself in the middle of, of your day today. Everything you did from last week on will be gone. So do this daily. Do it regularly. There's no reason for you not to do it. Just click on it and let it run. It'll go do its own thing, especially if you've got a relatively fast external drive. So keep your backups going. Play it safe. Don't waste your time or your money uh, on online backup systems. I'm sure they're wonderful, and I'm not saying anything bad about them. But frankly, the amount of information they back up is not great for catastrophic failures, and besides, it takes forever. And why pay for it? You got it right here. Save your money. Buy yourself an external drive connected to your computer, and then you don't have any monthly fees. Okay, as usual, any questions or comments, post them to the channel, and I'll be happy to help you in any way I can. Until then, enjoy.